What we're recording today is uh, some finished compost. And uh, this was a prototype of a black soldier fly larva bin that I did last winter. And we stopped feeding it probably around, <coughs> around April of last year. And we're just now taking it out, it's February uh, the next year, and we're just taking it out of the bin. Now, there were some red worms in there, and they've basically taken this after the black soldier fly and made it <laughs> really nice. There's still some red worms in here. Um, they're a little hard to see, they're pretty small. There's a couple of medium sized red worms. My rooster is competing with me. But, uh, See, without it being fed for eight months, there's still some red worms in here alive. As long as there's fungus or bacteria in here helping break things down, the red worms are going to be there to eat the dead fungi and the dead bacteria. So a, a, a small population can exist in even a pretty much finished compost. This stuff here is, is just beautiful. We've been running it through the filter. And this stuff here with the red worms in it, the bigger red worms, it'll go right back out to the compost. Um, the reason we're taking this, we're, we're going to start this over here with some black soldier flies and do it a little differently this year. But uh, I just wanted to take a quick view of the finished compost from last year and the fact that there's still life inside this compost after not being fed for eight months.